Oh, we're rolling. Look at that. Oh, shit. The whole... Oh, good. Good. Damn, it's like we're back home again. <laughs> like, literally. 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 Great. That's good. <clears throat> I'm so glad because that last... They were not fucking recording, and we had some. They, I needed the world to see the shit you did. I didn't do anything. I needed the world to see it. Anyway. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Back one more time for an episode of Broken English. I'm your host, Flip. This is my co-host, Dre. And uh, we have a special treat for you today. Actually, every fucking um, episode is no. a special treat. But this is an extra, super duper, scrum umptious treat. Uh, we have 10 back in the building. I, I couldn't hold my, my excitement anymore. I had to I see. I, 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 was trying to, I was trying to do I a build up. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, so, Tim was here for the uh, Black Card Revoked game. Yep, uh, she yep. was the hostess with the mostest, the madam. Yep. Madam, madam 10, 10, if you're nasty. Um, madam 10, Madam 10. And I fucked yeah. around and, you know, won that game amazingly. So, uh, uh, yeah, 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 you won. These. You won. I'll give you that. I mean, you have no choice. At this point. But anyway, uh, welcome, 10. Thank welcome you guys back, for welcome back, me welcome again. back. Yeah. Feel so at home. Indeed. Right. Us too. Right. <laughs> Talk about it because man say. I'm getting called right now, my God. Do not the, disturb. The unprofessional of it all. I don't want to hear that shit from you. <laughs> but all right. Uh, let's get cracking. What do you have to begin? All right. So let's start it off with the question of the day. <clears throat> all right. So imagine, right, you sitting at a stoplight, right? A guy sitting in a, in a bus stop, right? He's sitting under the little thing or whatever. Uh-huh. And he looks dirty. Like, I, I mean, damn near homeless, right? He looks dirty, but he has on a work uniform, right? Okay. You see him all in his nose. We talking, wham, at it, right? Digging for it. Okay. Wipes it on his apron. Uh-huh. Right? Okay. Uh, I see where this is going, but keep going. Next day. The next day? The next day, right? Next day. Okay. You go to a eatery in the same vicinity. Uh-huh. Go to an eatery. Uh-huh. You ordered your food. I did. And the same guy you've seen at the bus stop, digging for it, looking dirty, comes out the kitchen. What you doing? Oh, we're leaving. <laughs> you already paid. I'm going to refund, nigga. What you mean? I already ate the food? No, no, you already paid for the food. Okay. Hey, you know what? Never mind. I actually, uh, I got to run. I got an emergency. Uh, goodbye. Just like that. Just nigga, with no second thoughts. This filthy motherfucker, <laughs> digging for gold ass nigga. Yeah. Back in the back. I don't know what he been doing. Back in the back. Maybe maybe he's super professional and clean when he's at the J, but probably not. Nah. Ain't nobody, ain't no supervision back there. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Probably boogers and shit falling same. in the food. <laughs> I'm out. I'm fucking out. You out? Okay. You know what's crazy? You you gonna eat that shit? No, nah, no. Nah, I had a similar situation actually. I had a similar situation. Somebody at the job, right at the J, looks. Hmm, mm, mm, mm. Oh, looks. Man. I know what you're talking about. You at this conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ha- see, see. It looks wow, right? Looks it's, looks wow, like looks good. No. Oh, no. Looks, looks hit. Bummy. We talking dirty, nasty. Looks like I assume. Can I assume not with us? No, 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 not with us. Okay, no. So I'm in. I not that our standards food. are that fucking high, but right. But yeah, no. Yeah. I ordered my food. Right. Mm. I'm sitting there waiting. Right. Okay. I've been waiting for at least about a good three, four minutes. Right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. He comes walking out of the kitchen. I immediately started panicking. Like I'm like, oh fuck. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, wait where, where did minute. you, where did you see, what did he, this person did the same thing that you're describing? Was No, he didn't do that. He didn't do that. That he, was he just. He was just, he came out the back and looked disgusting? He, well, he looks disgusting on a daily. Da- daily show up to work, daily look dirty. No difference. 
All right. Well, I mean, looking dirty doesn't necessarily All mean. All right. No, we're not talking dirty different. like you got flour on you or, you know. Not like t- job description dirt or job related job, dirt? No. We talking. Like you haven't bathed or washed clothes? Like you stank. Like you stank. Your mouth look like you about to offend me with your breath. It's kind of like, I know if you take your socks off, the bottom of your feet dirty, even though you just got out the tub dirty. Facts. Like, you still dirty. You still dirty. You have natural work smelling feet. It's like you went to sleep in your work holes and woke back up in them and just came to work dirty. And just came to work. Oh, nah. Yeah, nah, that nah, type nah, of dirty. Nah, nah. We we talking dirty, dirty. Man, one of, one of us? Nah. Not nah. us like where we work. One of us. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. And he came out the kitchen. Yeah, young, young person, old person. Mm-hmm. It's hard to early, tell. Early. The, yeah. grime, the grime, the grime, the grime adds some years. <laughs> it's hard to tell. We'll, we'll say we'll say about early thirties, maybe. So yeah, I panicked, and I, I I'm like, oh fuck, what do I do? What do I do? Because I don't order my fucking food, and we all know how expensive that fucking food is at the J. So I'm like, oh fuck, oh fuck, what do I do? What do I do? So I asked the lady. I said, hey, hey, you seen the guy that came out of the kitchen? Mm-hmm. She was like, yeah. I was like, he work here? She was like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. Good. Great. No, he don't work here. Yeah. Why he come out the kitchen? He said, she said it was her brother. His brother, brother, his works, brother there. works there. So what if his brother looked just as bad as he do and you still ate the food? I don't know what his brother <laughs> looked like. I don't know. I don't know what his brother looked like. If his brother looked anything like him, I think I know who it is. Oh, hold on, hold on. No. I don't know what his brother looked like. I'm about to say, did you get verification or you just were, uh, you was immediately relieved when she said, oh, no, nah, that's an employee's brother? I was immediately relieved. You fool. Because <laughs> one, that could have been a bold-faced lie. I don't think it was because the shirt didn't match the establishment. But I can tell you for shit, sure. She said she she knew she knew what the problem was. We was here. Okay, she was black too. Yeah. Okay. We yeah. was here, but immediately. I don't look, think. Did she look dirty? Nah. No. 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 Well kept. Yeah. All right. I mean, well kept for work. Yeah. All right. You should have asked her where the brother at. Fuck! I should have asked. Yeah. Her. Like, I need. Where, I, where I need to know. Like? Yeah. Right. Because if the brother y'all related, what if they what if they twins? What if they stay Whoa. in the same house? Whoa. Man. Sharing the same roaches is wild. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. It's too late. You already ate it. I done ate it. I done ate it. Fuck. Yeah. God. Disgusting, bro. I mean, he's still with us, so. What if what if what if she would have said, yeah, he work here. What the fuck is the problem? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I would have threw that food away. It would have been an L I took. I would have waited, got my food, yoinked that shit. It would have been an L I took. I'm going to have to eat that L because lesson learned, lesson I repeated. I'm not going back to this fucking establishment. Congratulations. Not eating here again because this dirty bitch just walked the fuck up out of here. Why is he still working there? Look, I, I can't be the only one that thinks that this person is dirty as shit. And uh, I really dirty. don't eat at the J too often anymore. Uh, but man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shout out to him. Hope he. Uh, shout out to you. Get clean. Yeah. Take yeah. a bath. Get Wash some, your uh, clothes. Get some body wash of some kind. Oh, what am I doing? That's mean. I'm sorry. It's sorry. too late. No, 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 I'm no. Sorry, that's sir. your true heart. I'm sorry. No, that's don't not try my to, true Don't heart. try to act like it's a benevolent the, It's the nigga. retrograde. It's the Mercury's and retrograde. Oh. You would be one of them to blame it, huh? You're, gonna You're not about to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that shit actually been... I, man, say, it was some people fighting just a minute ago. And what did you do? Nothing. You oh. washed it? That ain't my business. I'm glad. I just want to make sure because sometimes oh, you no. have. Uh, no, that ain't my damn business. I live what in the hood. you mean? Like hood. sometimes he's a, he's a nosy nigga. Yeah, sometimes his other side comes out. Nah. Oh nah, yeah. Nah, 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 let's nah, go nah, investigate nah, the problem nah, side. Nah, huh? nah. 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 The white side. I ain't, ne- I ain't <laughs> never gave that, and I never will give that because at the end of the day, that ain't my mother. Listen, listen. It ain't my business. It ain't my business. But sure enough, he was peeping the scene. Yeah. I wasn't about to go over there though. Fuck no. Where did you see this at? On the way over here? No, no, no. This was yesterday. Yesterday night. Oh, okay. She was like, I'm outside, bitch. I'm like, damn. Oh, it was two two lovely ladies? Yeah. Ooh. Throwing, engaging in fisticuffs? <laughs> I'm outside, bitch. She came solo, too. Pulled up on feet. That's Wait. what's crazy. Pulled up on feet. Wait, do, it was by your house? Do it one more yeah. time. Do it one more time. I'm outside, bitch. Hey, wait, this is what we need to get to. Where do you live at? Because it's always something strange happening around your house. It is. I live in the hood. So what's going on? I live in the hood. 
you know, we getting you up out of there because with hey, this pay I'm raise, a, I'm you a, getting yeah, up out of there. I'm gonna I'm be out there. I'm gonna be out there. I'm gonna be. Out, I'm gonna be off the scene, but I live in the hood for sure. For sure, sure. Because it's a second crazy story that you didn't told me about your house. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a trap house right around the corner. Yeah, okay. I know. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. We getting you out of there. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. I mm-hmm. already know what's up. Okay. Uh, he like, look, you, you low key snitching. Shut up. Hey, <laughs> I know it's in your blood already. <laughs> I know it's in your blood, man. <laughs> oh, shit. F- well, FBI employee of the month. Well, in other news, I guess moving on since we're talking about news, uh, fucking, we, you heard OJ die, right? I did, man. How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel like I am um, a little torn because hmm? he was accused of doing horrendous things. Uh, and if and it, it never came out whether or not he was uh, accused, yes, nigga, he was not. He wasn't found guilty. If the glove don't fit, you, you must have quit, nigga. Are you didn't know that? No, I knew that. Um, I'm I just for sure testing. knew that. Did you? I, sh- I, I knew that. What was his lawyer name? I don't fucking know his lawyer name. Uh, all right. Anyway, who the fuck was his lawyer? Johnny Johnny Cochran. Cochran? <clears throat> oh, okay. Don't worry, man. Johnny Cochran. We know yeah. about you. Um, fucking know. But yeah, so that happened. We don't know the truth of the matter. It never got revealed. Didn't um, he? Didn't he say he did it or alluded to? He wrote a book. Yeah, that said, "If I did it." Yeah, bitch, I didn't read the book. I don't know. He just wrote the book, but it, they blocked the release. It, he was in jail for uh, some other shit. Oh, okay. That had nothing to do with uh, murders. Um, but anyway. You know, he was accused of doing all this terrible shit, but... Did, you think he, he did it? I don't know if he did it or not, but I know he ain't go to jail for it, so that means he won against the white man. And for that, I mean, he's a legend. You think he did it? I don't fucking know! Answer the question. It's a yes or no. I, I don't know. Wow. I don't know. Sure, looks, I mean, the gloves didn't fit. The glove didn't fit? It, it, he put it on. He, and put, he, put it, <laughs> he tried to put it on. That shit, that shit wasn't getting over his hand. Yeah, man, it was, okay. it was a smaller glove, man. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, yeah. What well. you think he did? It? <clears throat> I mean, I you know I was paying attention to the trial live and shit. He was. Yeah, he probably not, probably wasn't even born. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was went a, around. He was a twinkle in your daddy eye. Yeah, I yeah. Was probably wasn't even. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't say the other one. Are you glad? Yeah, I am. But okay. answer the question though. Yeah. Huh? Do you think he did it or not, nigga? Because you grilling me about my answer, nigga. We know the truth. Don't say we. What right. are you talking about? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, who you talking about? I, uh-uh. You mean Everybody, the, you y'all mean know the, the, the Federal Bureau? Hey, bitch. <laughs> 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 mm, so, Tin, that we got you here, we have some questions for you, if you don't mind. Wait a fucking minute. You didn't say you was asking me nothing. I know. I'm I know. surprised. I know. Okay. I know. Well, come on. We just want to talk to you since you are a lovely screenwriter, right? Director, yeah. producer, all of those lovely things. We want to pick your brain. Let's okay. just, let's see what artistry, what created you, what drived you to get to the point that you're here so you to said help dr- us out. You said drived? It might be a ding right there. That's a ding? I mean, it's, I don't know if drive is a word. Drove? Uh, I think, dr- you're going to make me Google it. Hold on. You might be right, but you use, any, you use either way, you're supposed context. to say drove. <laughs> what the fuck is drived? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a Dre original. <laughs> <laughs> I typed it in, you know the first thing. I think uh, Urban Dictionary popped up. <laughs> Google was like, "The fuck you saying?" Yeah, all right. Show broken yeah. English. So go ahead with. Uh, all right. Questions you have prepared. Have you? Have you? Did you? Did you have any questions? Yeah. Um, oh, you do. What? Yeah. Shock the shit out of me, bitch. You should never be shocked. Right, I guess. So. <gasps> Where's my? Qu- go ahead with your first question. Oh, because this will be so fucking lovely if you can't find yours after talking shit. Mm-hmm. Just. <laughs> Karma striking back fast on your bitch ass. <laughs> nope, my Mercury's not retrograding. All right, I got a question. Go so, ahead. what shows inspire you the most? Like, what what shows make the creative juices start flowing? Um, if you know me and you're my friend, you know off top, Martin. Like, really, I could probably recite 
all at <clears> once. <throat> so if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know, like, we going to watch Martin all day, and I don't care. And you're going to replay that. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Martin, um, of course, Fresh Prince, um, Living Single, um, of course, Insecure. Shout out to Issa Rae. I love her. Shout out to yeah. Issa Rae. Yeah. Have yeah. you seen any of these shows? I've had. I've seen... Uh, Fresh Prince. I've seen Martin. What was the other ones you named? Living Single. Living Single. I've seen Living Single. Wait, have you watched Friends? You know he did. No. Is okay. is Friends that's the white group, ain't it? Group? It's 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 a it's a it's like three f- or two males. Just it's a white show. Yeah, I'm it's a white right show. Now. Yeah, I don't I don't really Okay. <clears throat> I think I've watched Girlfriends. I love Girlfriends. Too. Yeah, I've watched Girlfriends. Mm-hmm. Okay. But, yeah, no friends I've never watched. I yeah. mean, good. I mean, cool. It wasn't a friends test. Oh, okay, good. Because <laughs> no, no, I don't know anything about that show. Like, okay, I, good, because, they, they, yeah, I don't know. The entire that, concept, oh, go ahead, you were going to probably say yeah, it. The, um, the entire concept comes off of Living Color, so they kind of took that. Oh, living okay. Living Single. Yeah, like Living Single, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Living Color, yeah. though. Living Color was epic. But, yeah, so you know Living Single. In Living Color. Okay, you, you watched that. You. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it came on in your house. Huh? You heard the theme song I'm, when you was playing I, with your th- police officer. Th- no, I actually theme. really love that fucking theme song. <clears throat> did you love <clears throat> the show background. though? Yeah, did you love that? I've not as many episodes as to remember. No. So you know who Wanda is? I, that name is really fucking re- familiar. Was Wanda loud? Wow. Was Why she, she got to be loud? No, I'm I'm because <laughs> I think she was loud on the damn show. Don't try to look at me for answers. I'm not looking for you for answers. I'm looking for you for a clap. I'm looking at you for clarification. There it is. Hmm. This yep. is not another Black Card Revolt goddamn situation, okay? Goddamn, let me live. My Black Card is intact. Barely. Fuck. Yeah, it's in tatters. It's real. Hang- it's hanging on. Like, it's dangling. It's barely. It's not stable. Shit. Yeah. Shit. Okay. Um. So you said Martin. So do you, does that mean like you... Do you have a preference or a lean towards comedy writing styles, or do you just kind of? Because I know it was a couple of other ones that, uh, you know. Well, I won't. I won't necessarily say when I start writing. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be a comedy. It's just kind of like wherever the story leads me. That's mm-hmm. just where I go. Like a lot of stuff, it tends to have a comic a comic aspect to it. But like, I would probably write any genre. I'm just a storyteller. Like, right. and if you're a storyteller, you can tell any story with any genre. So. I mean, if I get an opportunity to write a thriller, like, or if something pops up, like, I'm going to be down for it, but I might scare myself because I don't know how far my brain going to go. Yeah, yeah, It's going to let me know a lot about myself, but I ain't got there yet, though. Okay. So, I'm down to write whatever. So, have you, is that something like, like, have you ever wrote something and made you start questioning yourself? Like, wrote something that's, like, so good or, like, so scary, like, so deep that made you start, like, damn, where did this, like, I wrote this? Where did this come from? You know, I think the concept that me and you had came up with that day when we uh-huh. was uh, at the J, and I started, like, saying stuff, you start saying stuff, and it literally played in my head, the whole movie played in my head, like, real fast, and I mm-hmm. was like, but then, like, the horror aspect of it, I was like, why you think that way? You probably need to go get checked, because <laughs> normal people shouldn't have these thoughts. Right, right, but, right. But, I mean, right. as a writer, you got to kind of have to step out the box and, like, think that way in order right. for you to make it realistic, but, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I think that's definitely true, especially a testament to, I know, like, it's a really sickening fucking show, but it was absolutely artistically great. Um, Dahmer, like, oh, yeah. it was uh, it was a really terrible show. It really happened. Those things really did happen. But I feel like the way they encompassed the fucking show. Another one that's in a horror genre is uh, American Horror Story. I love American Horror Story. Right, like... To, like for those covenant. people to write like that, I think it's like wow. like the Covenant American Horror Story. I think I can write something like that without ease. With, yeah. with ease, like I mean, yeah, I could definitely do something like that. Hmm. Okay, but <clears throat> I ain't watched Dahmer. Uh, you didn't? Nah, because I I read somewhere that like the families of the victims were like traumatized or some shit all over yeah. again. Yeah, because uh, you know this nigga was kind of resurfacing in popularity because of the show. Yeah. There was, I think there was like a documentary or something that also came out right around the same time. So I never peeped Dahmer. I've seen a couple episodes of American Horror Story. Um, creatively brilliant show, for sure. Uh, 
Why did you come to me to see if I had questions? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, give me your Mount Rushmore of black television actresses. It can be comedy or whatever, but I mean, most of what you named is comedy. So if we want to narrow it down to comedy, we could do that. Hmm. I don't want to start with my face. Um, Regina King. Ooh. Okay. Gotta go there. Um, I like uh, Lorenz Tate. Um, who else? Well, I was just saying actresses, like just, but we can just do <coughs> black folks on the Mount Rushmore. I ain't mad. But um, I I mean I I, I won't I won't even say just black people because I love uh, R. I. P. Uh, Heath Ledger. Like oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. love, like, his acting. Like, he yeah. really, he got in there for sure. That made me, like, look at, like, movies in a way, like, the actors can actually bring something to life mm-hmm. totally different from what you've known it for and make you like it even better. So it's kind of hard for me to, like, really pick because I feel like certain actors, they're just so good at a certain um, role that they play it so well. It actually does, it actually brings the words to life that you wrote, but they do a way better job than what you could have. Because it's like, yeah, I see it being this, but then you put somebody on it that know what they're doing, and they're going to take it up. And you can be like, whoa, I didn't know it was going to be like this. You know what I mean? For sure. So it's just like in general, like just good actors that I like, like those that I named. Um, of course, I love like I like I love Will Smith as an actor. Uh, hands right. down, Denzel, you know, mm-hmm. these are like epic people that are like timeless. And you put them in any role in any role, they're going to kill it, right. you know. So I'm all about that. I do like Zendaya. Like yeah. she's the she's newer. She's fire. Yeah. yeah. And I do like her because she can she got a good range to her. Yeah, um, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So it's a lot of people out there that I get. Yeah. It's a lot of people out there that I, I really like, like I would love to work with. So I wouldn't it's hard for me to like just put, you know, like my faves. That's just like saying like who would your favorite producers be or something like that. Because there's just so many that I look up to that I, I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be hard. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be a difficult question to answer. Yeah, you definitely know what I'm saying? difficult. Because some motherfuckers got to get, got to get uh, voted off the island. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's only limited spots. Unfortunately. Right. But, but do uh, you have an, Do you have one? A Mount Rushmore? Yeah, mm-hmm. of actors. Like actors? Mm, I could tell you like a current one right now, but it's probably always, like the only person that's probably always going to stay on my Mount Rushmore is Denzel. Oh, okay. But, um... Viola Davis is probably on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For, yeah. Uh Tom Hanks is probably on there. Okay. Um Samuel Jackson is on there. Mm-hmm. Um you know, De Niro, Pacino, <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh shout out to Brad Pitt too. He always kills. Brad Brad yeah. Pitt. He yeah. be Yeah, for sure. I think Brad Pitt fuck with black people for real. Oh you know yeah, definitely. Saying? Yeah. Yeah. So shout Brad. out to Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, you know, the list is basically endless. Uh but you know, like I said, Denzel gonna be the only motherfucker with like a permanent residence always. Oh yeah, definitely. But yeah. Um what about you? Uh I think the 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 guy that played Dahmer, he's on that list. Um uh who else? I don't know actors' names, that's the problem. I mean I know, so that's yeah. all right. So um, if you wanna Pass. Taraji is on the list. I fucking love Taraji. Shout out Taraji. Mm-hmm. Um, Viola Davis, of course. Um, who else? It's it's a. I don't know his name. One that we did not say, Angela Bassett. Angela She's Bassett. Yeah, 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 for sure. She is. Yeah, top tier. But I was just thinking about. Uh, man, it made me think about Black Car Revolt because um, waiting to exhale. <laughs> you just didn't know it. Yeah. But keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been on the, you know, the outside hoping to get in? No. Shit. That's what this shit feels like sometimes. It's like it's like it's like a black door and it's a black party happening and I'm like, "Hey, I'm black." Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what be happening, because shit just get the flying over my fucking head, and I'm like, what the fuck did I miss? Because y'all be here. And I'm like, hmm, where the fuck did I go in the process? uh, Maybe we need to have, like, movie nights or some shit like that, just once a month. Show you a couple of them joints. Are you going to fall asleep? 
Never mind. <laughs> if it ain't horror, I'm probably gonna go to sleep. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, it could be. It, uh, well, I don't know about horror. I'm sure you. Uh, Tales from the Hood, some That's shit like it. that. Yeah. Hey, okay. Tales from the Hood, ain't that the one with the the <clears throat> black dude that was that was <laughs> the Crypt Keeper? The Crypt Keeper, yeah. I've watched I've watched that movie several fucking times. That was yeah. That was probably an actual scary fucking movie for me. I don't know why. Because black people were in it. No. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so all right. What you got? Uh, do you read it? Do you read books? Mm-hmm. Or? What kind of shit? Okay, oh. well, my bad. Go ahead. God damn, bitch. <laughs> damn. Can Nigga, I, niggas can I shake? Shit. Um, can't read. Um, do is any of the books that you read have they inspired any stories or any you know any ideas from books or do you mm. just kind of get your inspiration mainly from TV or you know movies or things like that? Um, <clears throat> I'm more into like the books that I have read. They're more into like historical books. Like if you think about the ISIS papers by uh, Dr. Francis, like stuff like that. So my inspiration of writing literally come from y'all, mm. my mm. friends. Okay. Yeah, like, wow. Real okay. Life like real yeah. life stuff. Cause that's the best thing for, cause I know for me, what I like to see on TV, when I see something that I can relate to, I'm mm-hmm. like, Oh yeah, I'm about to look at this again. Right. So when it's more relatable to me, it's more understandable. So then it got my attention. Cause it's like me and my friends, we can be watching it. We like, Oh, this is funny. Right. Mm-hmm. So I literally get my stories from my friends. So if you tell me a story, that's some good shit. Be expecting to see yourself on TV. Thank you. <laughs> Your story going to be told one way or another. Thank you. <laughs> um, what's one way that you like watching something you kind of identify like a good writer, like, you know, like what's one way that you looking at it? Like, cause I know for me, like, you know, when I'm looking at something from like an editor standpoint or whatever, it's like, I look at this, I'm like, damn, that's good editing. You know, like what's one thing that you may see when a story is unfolding where you're like, this is good writing. Like, is it the plot twist? Is it the build up? Is it the character development? Like what's something where you're like, this is a good writing. Um, I'm really into character development. Um, because it kind of tells a story and it can elongate um, a TV series. So, like, if you if you take a character and you start it off here and then you give the people a story to follow, then that's how people fall in love with certain characters. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that's how some of us, we fell in love with certain characters on TV. And when we see this actress or actors, we refer to them as that character. Right. Because it was just written so good and they made a rapport with us. So I feel like if you do so well with writing a character and bring that character to life, then it's literally going to touch people to where it's going to it's gonna be a generational thing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like Shanae. Most people know who Shanae is because yeah, yeah. even though it started back then, back then, it's so generational and the character is so well accepted and written so well, like people still adapt to that now. Right. So, like, okay. the character development is really important, and I, and I love that aspect because it's almost like um, – I don't know, kind of like a like a kid and like a playing with a Barbie doll set. And you know, she like talking over here and you talking over there. And you literally making a whole movie for yourself, mm, and that's how okay. it is. No bullshit. Not Barbies. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> um, Flip, you got anything? You got another question? Uh, damn. Well, you kind of already answered it. I was gonna say, you know, Fresh Prince or Martin, but I mean. Seem like Martin is fave. You know yeah, what I'm definitely. Um, so it was going to be that. But you already said Martin. Oh, so okay. I ain't got nothing else, nigga. Okay, all right. Um, so uh, as far as actors go, like, when you're working with an actor, like, what is something that would, like, what would you tell an actor to try to help your character come to life? Like, if an actor is kind of like, let's say they're not, I guess, making the character how you envision the characters, like what are some mm-hmm. things that kind of push the actor be like, hey, this is the direction that I want you to go with the character rather than, or do you kind of just like give kind of creative roam to the character, like to the actor to kind of like feel into it? Like mm-hmm. what, what is your technique that you kind of go with them to that? Like I find um, the best way to do it is kind of like, like see where the characters are like you know give them a chance to do that role or or play out that scene and if it's not hitting the mark that you want them to hit then it's like okay so yeah i like what you did here 
but this is what I'm going for. And a lot of times, like new actors or actors, they get inside their head and they're thinking like, oh, I need to do it exactly like the paper. That's not what I want you to do. Mm -hmm. I want you to take what I'm saying right here and make it your own. You see what I'm saying? Like I need you to really adapt to the character. So if the character is a crackhead, I need you to like be a crackhead. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like I need you to start scratching and itching, and I need you to do all of those aspects. Like you have to bring that to life. Like I'm gonna give you the direction, and I try to give as much direction as I can, but I don't want to overstep and make make it feel like the actors don't know what they're doing. Mm. You know, because I picked you because I feel like you knew what you were already doing. Right. So okay. like. You know, giving little bits and gems here of exactly what I'm looking for is great, but that's where you find that out when you're doing, like, uh, round table reads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you get to the set, they already got an idea of, of what they're doing and what exactly this character encompasses. Okay, okay. Well, I guess since we've gotten tips and tricks about acting... Well, it's, it's time for us to... It's time to put it... <laughs> Put it to the test. All right, I mean, this is the actor right here. This is my mean, this is my favorite actor right here. This come dude. on, man, cut it out. Cut mm -hmm. out. This guy. <laughs> I'm just a humble so, host on a podcast. Uh, what I was gonna say. Um, oh, you were about to introduce it. No, no, no. no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I was just gonna say. Uh, that's, your, that's your take. That's just these. So, uh, Dre commissioned Ten to write us a little something special for the uh, the tenth episode. And uh, in, ten, ten. yes, and she uh, she blessed us with some material. I have not seen this material at all. Uh, Rondre has, excuse me, minus the Ron. <laughs> that? Uh, Dre has peeped this shit out, but I don't know how extensively he's done it. So basically, we're about to just uh, read this shit, and uh, hopefully, y'all enjoy, or at least hopefully, it's hilarious how bad we do it. One of the two, but uh, this is what you. What did you? Uh, would you? You want to introduce what it's called? You, you told us, but uh, yeah, I didn't have a name for it. So um, based on what it's about, I just came up with Gouda. That is the name of this this little short little script right here, Gouda. Okay. Uh, so for this, do you? Uh, I guess I could read. You want me to read the. Set the scene. Exposition, or do you want to do it, or how you want it to go? Let's, let's, let's set the scene, Tim. Set the scene. I'll set, set scene. it since you have to read as a character. Yeah, you the you, character. Uh, so okay. Unless you get into your character. All right. Stance. All right. Ma. All right. Ma. So, do y'all want me to read the scene heading too, so we can? Uh, get it yeah. Back, go right? ahead. Why yeah. not? Okay. Yeah. Take it away. How All right. Do it? Interior car. Nighttime. Okay. Terry and Dennis, a pair of mischievous friends in their late twenties, sitting in their car. Are we sitting in the car? Oh, okay, cool. This is perfect. Okay. All right. All right. Oh, oh fuck. Nigga. It's on you, Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Nigga, let's go. My bad. I'm the sorry. camera's I'm is rolling, nigga. I know. I know. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. You got to forgive me. Time shit. is money, this is son. Acting. This is acting. All right. And scene. Okay, D. Remember the plan. Grab the Gouda, then get out of there. Easy peasy. Man, I don't really know about this. Uh, especially this store. Doesn't seem like the type that would keep large amounts on hand, bruh. Plus, I'm not trying to get caught. Who said anything about getting caught? So here you go, being negative. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm being realistic. Okay, so why you come, Mr. Realistic? You know what you need. This just as, you know what you need. <laughs> you know you need this just as much as me. You right. But are you sure they keep large amounts in the store? Man, I'm positive. I seen him unload large amounts yesterday. Trust me. We just hit the jackpot. Now put your mask on and let's do this shit. Dennis takes a deep breath as he reluctantly slides his mask over his face. Exterior store that's at like night. You put your mask on, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how I put it. Look like you about to crumb dance. <laughs> get this shit, nigga. Okay, Terry starts to pick the lock. They enter the store. Dennis heads for the cash register as Terry heads for the back of the store. Hey, man, where you going? You said in and out, remember? Terry disregards and continues to the back room. Man, I should have watched the YouTube on how to break into a cash register. Dennis struggles with opening the cash register. He hears Terry rambling through the things in the back. Hey, is the money back there? Because I can't seem to get this register open. Terry doesn't respond. Look, I'm not leaving here with nothing, so I guess I'm taking you with me. 
Dennis unplugs the register and heads for the door. Shit, heavy as fuck. Come on, Terry. I got the register, nigga. Let's, let's go, man. I hear sirens. Terry comes running out the back room, rolling two large wheels of Gouda. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, take two, take two. Take two. I wish we had the look. Dang, and I got two of them at home, too. Damn. Slates or whatever. Yeah. Okay, exterior store night. Terry starts to pick the lock. They enter the store. Dennis heads for the cash register as Terry heads for the back of the store. Hey, man, where you going? You said in and out, remember? Terry disregards and continues to the back room. Man, I should have watched the YouTube on how to break into a cash register. Dennis struggles with opening the cash register. He hears Terry's rambling through things in the back. Hey, is the money back there? Because I can't seem to get this register open. Terry doesn't respond. Nick, look, I'm not leaving here with nothing, so I guess I'm taking you with me. Dennis unplugs the register and heads for the door. Come on, Terry. I got the register. Let's go, nigga. I think I hear sirens. Terry comes running out the back room rolling two large wheels of Gouda. Come on. Come on. Hey, man, what are you doing with those wheels of cheese? Terry looks confused. No, what what are you doing with the register? I'm getting the Gouda. That's the whole reason why we're here, man. I thought you were in the back getting more. Oh, you thought I was talking about money? Uh, Yes, nigga. What else do you think I was... uh, What else would I think you was referring to, nigga? Gouda, crazy? Cheese, as in Tom and Jerry? Man, I know you ain't have me rob a motherfucking store for some motherfucking cheese, bro. Does this look like we robbing a damn bank? This is a local store. Say it with me. Store. I can just taste the grilled cheese and the pizza we're going to make. I ought to whoop your ass for this. The sounds of the police sirens get louder. Come on, man. Put the register back. We got to get out of here. Nah, nigga. Put them damn wheels of cheese back. Nope. Can't do that. I've already picked out the dishes I'm going to make <laughs> with this here cheese. Okay, well, I already got some outfits and shoes in my checkout cart. The register is coming with me. Okay, fine. Little something for everybody. Let's just hurry and get out of here. I can't believe you thought we was in set at all. Fuck yeah. wrong with you. Terry and Dennis runs out the store and get away just in time before the cops arrive. The end. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did great. No, thank that you. Was, that thank was you. that was funny. Yeah, that, that was, was fun to watch. Well that written, was... funny. You know, I could tell. I could totally see it as it was happening. Yeah, you seem like a cheese wheel rolling ass nigga too. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I'd be mad. I ain't as gonna fun. hold you. I probably if that was I can picture that being us. Yeah, because I ain't gonna. But you tall, so I'm trying to think about how big the wheels of cheese got to be for you to be able to wheel them. Unless you're gonna be low to the ground wheeling some shit. Because when I think wheels of cheese, I'm thinking like, you know what I'm no, saying? I'm talking about the like real basketball, big like like basketball hoop size nah, or some we, shit like we, that. We talking big cheese. All he worried about is the dishes that he gonna make y'all. With that hey, wood. listen, we was gonna make some I'll, fire grilled. I wouldn't cheeses. even want that shit. A grilled cheese and a blunt. Get your cheesy ass away from me. <laughs> <laughs> got me out here stealing wheels of cheese, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know what the penalties would be. Like what the what would we get for stealing cheese as opposed to stealing money? Is it the same? Because it's you still. I mean, it's still breaking and entering. So at this point, you got to take that. the money, too. That's what I'm saying. We got to take everything. Yeah, shit. got the bags of chips. Anything. Right? Yeah, because, yeah, you know. I think I think it goes up with what you actually, how much you steal. Like, which, which movie told you that? Ain't no movie tell. <clears throat> I don't know, though, for real. That's why I'm thinking, like, damn, if we was really doing some shit like that. <clears throat> And that's Your best the bet outcome. Cheese. Huh? Your best bet is just taking the cheese. No, bitch. If we already going to get... <laughs> the cops is already coming. If, if we get caught, we getting fucked up either way. So we I might sell, as well we take can the sell, money. We can sell the cheese we to, can, to the wine. We can, we, can, we can sell the cheese to the what you, which, wine What, what place. the fuck you think the price of cheese is per pound, nigga? Cheese can be <laughs> fucking expensive. Cheese is expensive. Big wheels of cheese? This is hot. This is stolen cheese, nigga. 
Who the fuck? This is nobody, black market cheese. Ain't nobody gonna worry about no damn black market cheese. They're gonna see two niggas with some fucking. You done rolled it on the ground, so it's probably got some fucking. Bits it's of in lynch. a wrapper, man. It's you in. A, it's you rolled don't know. up. That's how you cheese comes. He would know. He hey, know. hey, nigga. He why? Well, because he, he's a cheese wheel expert. Because I'm Terry, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about this shit. I guess, nigga. You rolled that shit on the ground. You probably done fucked up the structural integrity of that motherfucker. It's probably not even a wheel no more. It probably ain't, but that's all right. It's still going to make a grilled cheese, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that side, that side was fucking hurting. I'd be so fucking annoyed if I seen your stupid ass come out with some fucking cheese. Exactly. That's why I wrote it like, like that. Yeah. No oh, shit. I wrote it like that because in my head, I'm like, if Flip seen him roll out with some cheese and he got a register in his hand, he going to flip his shit. That probably is. I ought to whoop your ass. That's some shit. Yeah. That's some shit. Was I would have, nigga, I would have ran over there and kicked the fuck out of one of them wheels of cheese. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck you doing? <laughs> Getting the Gouda, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Oh, Wrong man. Gouda. And I know that register heavy as fuck. I ain't got hey, time re- for your bullshit. I'm not helping you carry that. I don't want you, bitch. It's crazy because whatever as, money in there, you better not touch it. As soon as I see you with fucking the register, I'm like, hey, he had the fucking register. I don't know what the fuck. You <laughs> Look at me. FBI. FBI. FBI, dog. He stay FBI. You at all time. really? You stay true to your roots, nigga. Don't you ever change. <laughs> so you know what friend this is. You know what friend this is right here. <laughs> Don't take him to do nothing. Never. I, I, once he said that FBI shit, hey, I hey, knew. It's we, crazy. Can't, we can't do no bro, petty crimes. Bro. We, I really, should bro. we jaywalk together? I don't know. Absolutely not. That same thing you just said, I have heard before. Nigga, I can't take you with me. You're not nigga. going. You, no. Your big sloppy ass going to get us. Bro. Okay, no. let me shut up. Let me shut up. Let me shut up. Yeah, I'm, we, like, I'm like Ice Cube <laughs> in the front seat, man. Let him, let, let them, let him out. Yeah. You got to get out. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let me type, out. That's yeah. you in the backseat. Let me out. Yeah, no don't worry facts. About, about no anyway. facts though. No, nah, I'll roll with y'all, but I'm not no, rolling. No, with you're, not, you're not even getting in the nah, car. No, that's the thing. I'll roll with y'all. We're gonna we chill. We're we gonna know. loiter. We're gonna we gonna post no, up. No, but I'm not no, rolling I'm not with even y'all. Loitering with you, bro, because no, that's I, illegal in some places. No, no, that's chill. That's chill. No, no, don't try and bring it back. That's chill. No, I'm, I'm telling you, I'll like, hang with you. We can roll, but I'm not rolling with you. We get to the nitty gritty of it all, nigga. You not? I'm not kicking. That's those. crazy. Okay, you can roll, I but you gotta bring. You gotta bring your own whatever we smoking on. You gotta bring your own drink. You ain't. You ain't sharing none of my shit. Because <laughs> huh? I ain't. I ain't willing to kick a dough in with you. Correct, nigga. That the, nigga. You know who you hanging with it this time? Oh shit. Well, listen. I just hang because y'all cool. We cool, and I'm just... We are criminals, nigga. Fuck that. Nope, that's where the line huh? is drawn. How you think these lights stay on in here? Oh, well, I guess by the register that you stole. <laughs> yes, nigga. I know that the till got to be like 255. Yeah. Shit. That's enough for the light bill. Oh, fuck, man. That was great, Tim. Thank you so thank much you for that so script. Much. I re- We really do appreciate that. that for was, sure we do. That was, that was absolutely un- lovely. It was amazing. I feel like you know we might need to do this. I don't know. Oh, more often, re-up, like, re-up, re-up, re-up. That was good. You know I'm down. You know yeah, I'm down. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm down. I'm down for sure. Yeah. Um, Tin, yes. would you like to shout yourself out? Where you, where's your platforms? What you got going? What you got coming up? Uh, what What are some things that you're working on? Well, actually, me and my boy right here. This is my boy. This this bro right here. Yeah, okay. Um, mm. Him and another one of our partners were actually working on this, uh, this dope, dope, dope TV show, like, I can't wait till we bring it to y'all because it'd be so funny because in the midst of us coming up with this stuff, we like, we can barely get through with it because it's that funny. And we'd be cracking up. Yeah, it's it's dope. So we got that coming. I got like a little short, uh, a short script that I did that I'm going to start uh, filming soon. So we working this year. Okay. We, we trying okay. to get some stuff out there. We trying to put trying Houston to, on the map for like. We trying to get out this year. Yeah. 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 We trying to be done with it. Like, okay. Yeah. 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 I, need my, I need my names at the end of like some credits or something. I'm saying. I don't okay. want y'all to. I don't want people to know that's me. But I want them to be like, who is T and her name on everything? Yeah. Ooh. Facts. Okay. All right. You got any platforms you want to shout yourself out um, on? Any any platforms people can find you on? Any? Yeah, y'all can find me on um on YouTube. Uh, Your flyness on YouTube. All right. I mean, I got TikTok and stuff like that, but that's just for my entertainment and like. Personal. When I need to know how to like build something or cook a dish, but that's about mm-hmm. it. Okay. But um, yeah, go ahead and find me on um Instagram. Um, your flyness, yeah. Okay, bad. Okay, okay. Bad. okay. Well, y'all heard it, niggas. 
Your Flyness, uh, Madam 10. Uh, it's a little bit early for the outro, but uh, you got anything else, nigga? Nah, I don't. I had to think about it. You did? Yeah. We seen it. You seen it? We, it was a visual? Everybody seen it. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world seen it? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Shit. All right, well, this has been another fun-filled episode of Broken English. Uh, special shout-out to our guest host, Tin. Uh I am your thank host, you, thank Flip. You, thank you. It's my co-host, Dre. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Peace.